Hi everyone, Morgan here and welcome back to the Blackout series where we're going to be talking about alternative energies. So as you can see behind me, I don't know as you can see, but <laughs> you can see some things behind me and this is part of our solar system. We have our inverter, our charge controller, our batteries are insulated under here. We're in Alaska, so we insulate our batteries a little bit. They are lead acid bas batteries and I'm going to talk in more depth about just general um, you know what you might need for solar if that's an option that you want to go but this is our full off-grid option we are totally off-grid now i think whether you live in a rural area or in a city or whatever i think solar is a really good option you could have it on your roof but one thing i do want to caution about solar especially in the city is that a lot of people will sell you on solar but they're going to sell you on being tied to the grid you can be tied to the grid, but only if you have a switch in which you can switch off if there's ever a power outage to be able to use your system kind of like this. So you should be able to have your own battery bank and things like that. If you don't get batteries installed or inverter and charge controller or any of those other things, then you're not going to be able to use those solar panels and that energy during a blackout. You have the solar panels bringing energy in, but it's then tying it to the grid so you're giving energy to the grid essentially and yourself of course but when the lights go out if it's only tied to the grid your lights are going to go out so solar is great <laughs> but if you have your battery banks and all that um, as, as long with it so um, I'm going to talk about a couple other options but I did want to show you our solar real quick um, again we live in Alaska so you know, we point our panels right now in the snow um, completely south. I mean, just due south, <laughs> completely south, straight. And we get about anywhere from five to 800 watts, even in the winter. So it's pretty good. Um, even here in the north, we're getting um, pretty good solar. Um, of course, another option is going to be generators. You can probably hear our generator. Generators are going to be an option. They need to be here, I'll get away from it so I can talk. So generators are gonna be really good. Hondas are really super efficient. I've talked all about generators and I'm gonna put a link down below. You could also get a solar generator and I'm gonna have a review of a solar generator. Be on the lookout for that. We have a very specific one. There's a few out there that are really good, but I'm gonna have a very specific review on a solar generator in the future. So, um, but solar generators are nice, especially for like apartments or um, condos or things like that because you can actually bring that solar generator inside and uh, you can generators in general have to be at least I would say at least you know 50 feet if not to 100 feet away from any windows or doors to keep that exhaust out of your house right okay so let's talk about a few other alternative energies for short term and long term a really nice option, like if you don't have a way to get a generator, or full house solar or wind or whatever, a nice option is just charge a few things that you want, like some some rechargeable batteries, things like that. It's going to be a nice foldable solar charger like this, as well as a, as a few external batteries. You can put this in your window, directly outside, things like that, and then you can just charge the external batteries. You can also charge devices directly to it. But these are a really nice option. I'll put links down below to this, to a few of these options. Okay, so a couple other methods would be wind power. I think wind is a really good solution um, for a lot of places. You know, even here in Alaska, uh, we do get plenty of windy days. We just have to make sure that our, our wind generator gets above the trees. Uh, you will need the batteries and you know the charge controller and all these things for your generator which for that wind generator as well to control that energy and harness that energy uh, for later use not just immediate use so other than that um, there's a whole bunch of other things that you could try to do you could try to do geothermal or um, you know or just don't worry about the energy and just do, you know, candles. It's totally up to you, but alternative energies are really nice, especially to power, you know, your fridge or freezer if you want to keep that going. We are completely 100% off grid, like I said, and we power our fridge and freezer. We're going to be getting a second freezer to power that, you know, and our setup can do it. Um, but, you know, at, at a certain point, there's also certain things that maybe you just... 
you know, because you are off grid, you're going to have to be really picky about what you do and do not charge. You know, we prioritize a fridge and a freezer. We prioritize, you know, lights. We prioritize charging certain devices. We prioritize things. And then when we're not using those things, they're always unplugged. Like we have a microwave, but we'll only use the microwave if our generator is running or, um, you know, and then after that, it's always unplugged, those kinds of things. So, and then if we do have to use our generator or I'm um, sorry, our microwave, we realize that we just use quite a bit of energy because the microwave uses quite a bit of energy. And then, you know, for cooking, you know, we have like a propane stove that we're not using, um, you know, electricity and stuff with. So um, there's all these little tidbits and ideas, you know, when you're, when you are off grid or when you, or when you have lights out and you're using alternative energies, that's not the grid, you realize really quickly what you can and cannot power and you know, how long your power supplies actually last and, and, uh, being really picky about what you do and do not power. So uh, just some ideas there. And uh, I will put links down below to a couple videos that we've made on solar and, um, and generators. And that should be about it. And I'm gonna put a link down below to um, also that talks about wind power. If you have any other ideas for alternative energy, I'm totally open to them. There's so many interesting options out there. Um, you know, if you're just willing to invest a little bit, Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Be sure to check out the playlist down below for the List Lights Out series for the rest of the videos. Talk to you later. Bye.